Good morning. I just woke up beautiful. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. I feel a lot better. I drowned myself in NyQuil and Sudafed last night. Oh, God. I just could not get to sleep. Um, but now I have, like, face wrinkles. So I'm going to go do some stuff today. I'm going to go look at these apartments. Um, it's a really cool loft downtown. We'll see what happens, though, because... They have like very specific times when you can go see them and it's like some big deal. So I'll take this camera and my GoPro and see what I can film. Show Aaron and see if he likes it too. Mm. Pardon, pardon. Oh my God, I feel so stupid. I went and looked at the thing and when I read it, it's like 1215, be here, be square. And then I was like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Oh my God, it's Wednesday. I'm not gonna be able to see nothing. <clears throat> so that's what I get for trying too hard to do something for YouTube. So I guess I'll still go get a car wash. Might as well do something with my day. I don't know where I could take you guys. There's not a lot going on in New Mexico. <laughs> Maybe we could get some pozole. Wait, where was I gonna go? Car wash. I wish I could go to the gymnasium. When I go to the gym, I feel happy. Like, I don't feel so stressed out and stuff like I normally do. Um, and I was reading a bunch of these Reddit, like, nurse forums. And they're like, if you want to feel happy, work out a lot. Because nurses need to work out. Where is this car? Okay. Oh, and then I turn on my car and it's like, hey, you need a B3 service in 30 days. I'm like... Is that the expensive plan? But then it's like, hold on, I don't need to get this at Mercedes again, because last time I got it at Mercedes, and it was like $400 or something, $300 for like an oil change. And I was like, bitch, this car isn't even under warranty. My warranty ran out. So it's like, why am I gonna do that there? I'm gonna take it to the Jiffy Lube or something. Ooh. So I came to the car wash, but it said car wash frozen, so I was backing out, but the guy's like, let's see if it works. So you just like put in a code 895412? I don't know. So you put in a code and the car wash is working, I guess. But we'll see if it stays working because it didn't wash the underside of my car when I usually it comes, I come in and I'll wash it. So I don't know, should I go back and pay him or just like, bye, thanks for testing it on my car. Sorry, I was watching a vlog. <clears throat> he went inside because it's flipping cold out here. So I'm gonna assume he didn't want no money. Oh God, I feel like such a pompous idiot. Remember the boy in the Mercedes, he owes us $5. Gracias, senor. Gracias para ayudarme. Um, <laughs> oh, so I was watching that movie Coco and it reminded me of my grandma. Oh, you know what I could do? I'm gonna make some green chili stew and take some to my mother-in-law. That sounds sweet, doesn't it? I'll show you guys how I make it. It may not be how you make it, but it's how I make it. Um, but she doesn't eat beef. Aaron's family's like actually super healthy. Like my family, we eat everything because you just have to eat what's available. Um, <clears throat> I mean, green chili stew sounds amazing, doesn't it? I think I'm gonna make some. Maybe I'll make hers without any beef in it. Maybe I'll cook the beef and not put it into hers, but put it into the rest of it for everyone. That sounds like a good flippin' idea, doesn't it? Yes, it does, batch. <coughs> I need to get cough drops and soda and Gatorade because when I'm sick I cannot stand the taste of water I don't know if you guys are like that too but when I'm sick I can't stand drinking water and that's all I drink like I've had the same box of soda pop in my house for like two months now like I don't drink it unless I'm sick or if I have like really bad heartburn I'll drink it to like sizzle okay so I got the onions and potatoes I have like pre-done garlic at home so we'll do that um what else goes in here? It's like potatoes, onions, garlic, meat, you know, chicken. 
don't remember. Just a bunch of stuff. Oh, I got these because they're on sale. They're like a dollar. So then I don't have to cut them myself. Ha <laughs> Okay, so I got some of these things. I don't know, my grandma used to have them. Got Erin some granola, she's healthy. Some hamburger meat, and then cream of chicken. And yes, I am that basic bitch. I'm gonna get some eggnog while I'm here, because I love it. Is that like a tradition all over? It should be, right? So I got two kinds of chili. We're all about green chili in New Mexico. So I got this one mild and this one hot because the roasted one only comes in hot. But I want to see the taste difference. And then I'm gonna get some tortillas. There's so many tortillas. I don't know which ones to get. I think my mom gets these. Grandma tortillas. I think that's all I'm gonna get. Do self checkout so I don't have to talk to anybody because I'm doing social too. Right? Yeah. Well, that was cute. $50 later. Um, <clears throat> I wonder where my phone just paused. <clears throat> so when I was leaving, this little boy's like, Grandma, look! He's the vlogger I was telling you about! I was like, how cute, and she just like looked at me like I was Satan. And I was like, bitch, please. I'm gonna push you real hard and break your hip. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not an evil bitch. And then I was this other lady, she's like, looking at me all sideways. I was all, come for me. Say something to me, ain't nobody trying to film you. But it was pretty funny. I was kind of nervous to vlog in there because New Mexico's a pretty, basic town and then and we're in the suburbs over here so it's like I was kind of nervous to like film over here because people are a little more basic on this side of town they're really conservative and like I don't know close-minded over here but that was cool a little kid figured out what I was doing it's like the world is changing and I've been doing this for a long time so there's few places that I feel weird vlogging in bathrooms grocery stores Walmart, who could give a fuck? Cause it's Walmart and people are in there in their fucking pajamas. I'm cussing a lot cause I don't feel good. I got Gatorade but I need to stop at CVS and get some lozenges for my throat. Oh my God, they were having such a good sale on like stationary stuff so I bought some pens for work. That was buy one, get one free. So I mean technically I didn't save money cause I bought something I didn't necessarily need. But at the same time I wanted it so. Oh, she's walking the dogs. Is she a dog walker? Walk my dog, I'll pay you. <coughs> Is this handicap? Nope. Some part rat, my happy ass right in front of her. I'm gonna run inside and get me some cough drops. It's funny, CVS and Walgreens are right next to each other here. I always feel like it's sibling rivalry or something like Ooh, don't go there. Ooh, don't go here. Ooh. So this kind of makes me nervous. It's got benzocaine and dextromethorphan. I think that's what make people robo trip and they're selling it here and it's like in the shape of candy. Okay, so I got my cough drops. Um, there was this little old lady in there. She was so hurt. They didn't have her Elizabeth Arden something or other. Red door or something. And she was like so hurt. She's like, oh, do you know if any of the other stores have them? They're like, well, not everyone stocks the same stuff. And she was just like so super hurt. And I'm trying to exit the wrong way, so I'm gonna try that again. And go the right way. And then here I am buying cough drops. Like she's having a life and death crisis right now over her Elizabeth Odd. And I'm just like, I just want these cough drops so that I can stop coughing and not irritate my throat. Poor thing, she was like devastated. But champagne headaches are still headaches, you know? Just saying. Oops, I forgot to show you guys. So I'm browning some hamburger meat. You know, I don't really. I mix the green chili, chicken, uh, cream of chicken, onions, but potatoes in here, and I'm slow like cooking them. The One of these big heavy things. Um, yeah, so I'll add so, this um, later because my mother-in-law doesn't like hamburger meat. Um, so I'll add that later to this. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that's how you make green chili stew. 
It's kind of the same if you're gonna make enchiladas too, it's just you put it on tortillas and add cheese. Exactly done, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, excuse my hair. I was laying here and I just randomly passed out. I was watching TV. Oh my god, I must have had a fever and my hair got curly. Um, oh my god, all of a sudden I got like a ton of bricks, no energy. I should probably chill the fuck out. Okay. But I made so much green chili and like enchiladas, green chili stew that I was gonna go drop some off for my mother in law and for my brother in law and my sister in law. Um, I'll go drop them off some too for dinner. I don't know, maybe they could eat it for dinner. But it's actually really, really good. It's really spicy, but like in a good way, like you eat it and you get the spice, but it doesn't hurt your mouth. Um, which, so that's a food I like where you can taste it, but you can still eat it without like burning yourself. So, <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't go anywhere. I'm probably gonna go just to be nice. Where's my casserole? Okay, well, um, I don't know if I'll take you guys to, to go do that with me, but, um, yeah, I think I got enough footage for you guys today. May have killed myself in the process, but I got you guys. Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye!